Alright, hey folks, it's Steve. So I am starting the program or the plan to put the CP, my new CP610 antenna up. This is what it looks like laid out here. I've got the four, there's four sections that come with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, grease here and I'm going to put it on each one of the fittings. So like for example here where you have these screws, I'm going to use this anti-seize lubricant in here. So I'm going to do it here and then there's another section right here that I'm going to do. So my plan is to use that lubricant on all of these to keep the corrosion down. So I'll go ahead and lube everything up and then I'll uh, I'll do another video, but that's what it looks like so far. All right, I've got everything uh, lubed up now with this aluminum. One measurement I'm going to do right here is between section four and section three is I'm going to measure two and uh, two and three quarters, which is, uh, I'll do the math. It converts to centimeters, but that's what the measurement needs to be for uh, 28, uh, for the 50 dot one megahertz area where the voice is so that's two and three quarters so I'm gonna go back see how I lubed everything here got the uh, the grease on here now and I'll go ahead back and put the screws in so everything this is a good example here that's the one I've lubed up there see how I just brushed it on you basically it comes in a, with a brush and then this one here, and then what I'll do once I get all the uh, screws and the tooth washers put in, I'll wipe everything down, and I'll uh, grab another video. Okay, I've got everything lubed up here, uh, and I've got this one inserted two, two and three quarters of an inch into this one, and you can almost see where the where it stops right there. So the uh, the lubricant, the seal, I've got the uh, these. You have a, a washer, and then you have the bolt that comes in the kit. So you want to make sure you put the little tooth washer, they call them, right there. And so that's what I wiped down the aluminum coating. So I've got that aluminum uh, anti-seize in here, so that'll keep that from corroding. And here's what this one looks like here. So that's where we are. Uh, I'll keep going along. I just was kind of taking you through step by step. All right, right there, what I'm work working on now, this is the 10 meter uh, horizontal radial. So the way this antenna works is it's got a this actual portion of the antenna is the six meter portion and that's a co-phasing coil right there so what they do is now on the 10 meter section they actually work off of a horizontal radiator so the way you, you do this here is you measure 27 inches right there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this little fitting here which is basically there's a nut inside of there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right over here and I'm going to tighten that down. So let me do all that and I'll put the aluminum C's on it and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the 10 meter radiator, radiator here, the, uh, the loading coil for the 10 meter section of it. I'm tuning it for 28400. Okay, so this is the 10 meter uh, right here. I've got this sealed. And this distance here from here to here is right about 27 inches. So that's how you tune that. And I've got the lubricant. Uh, all in there, the aluminum, the lubricant, uh, the aluminum. Now what's going on down here is we're starting the base build of it here. So what's going to happen is this part of it right here is going to slide in and there's going to be a, a hole right here that we're going to use right there. It's on the other side. There it is. Uh, let's see where's that hole? There? there it is, right there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put all this aluminum sealant. But what we're going to do first is we're going to assemble this portion here, and we're going to get everything ready, and we'll mount this to the antenna. And then the idea is we're going to run the coax through here, and then we will very carefully raise this thing up and we will connect the coax. So we're going to we're going to get everything pretty low on the roof. So anyway, that's where we are right now. Okay, here's where we are so far. I've got the base mounted to the mast. And if you notice uh, uh it calls for about 4 inches of clearance between the bottom of the mast and to where the uh the base of the uh, antenna is. And I'll show you a little bit more detail there on the instructions, but that's where we are so far. I've got the pole lowered. 
And you notice right here, the way I've got those brackets, uh, since we have really a strong winds out of the west, uh, I've got it so that uh, those brackets will give it maximum support uh, from the west, too, because that's where our predominant winds are, so that's the way I've got that mounted. Okay, so right here we've got, uh, this is the base here. This will actually go, this portion of it here will go into the base that you saw up on the roof. And these are those two secure screws here that will mount it here. And then of course there's one more screw that will hold it here when we slide it into that receiver on the top. But I'll go ahead and put the lubricant here and that's a weep hole right there. So we'll go ahead and uh, keep moving along. Alright, I've got my DX400 Max 50 foot. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to get this unrolled in the sun because it's extremely stiff. So I'm going to have to start conditioning this because this this is going to be tough to work with. All right, so here's what I got going on here, and we're getting our West Texas wind, so we're not going to get this thing up today, but we'll get as far as we can. Got the coax laid out here. So what I'm going to do is my plan is that's the path I'm going to take the coax. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to unroll the coax out here in the sun in the grass. And then my plan is to get it up there and then I'm going to run it down the pole and get it positioned to go into the access hole inside the barn. So that's what we're going to do. It's just prepping everything. We're not going to get it up today, but it's a staging process where we're going to get the coax ready, get it conditioned, get it in the sun, and uh, I'll show you how I take it apart. It's a little tricky. and. Uh, Hopefully the camera will stay focused. I'm going to show you how I undo it. What we want to do is we want to let the sun just kind of let it all right hopefully that's 50 feet so that's what we're doing here is we just want to let it get it laid out all the coils we want to get them all undone and the sun will take care of the rest of it so I'm going to let this sit for a while, and then later what I'm going to do is I'm going to start running it up that pole and prepping it. And we'll leave everything loose, not tie wrap anything down, but we're just going to... So one thing I'll show you real quick, I'm going to use these real cheap tie wraps to stage everything and prep everything. Uh, these are not really sun resistant, but they're good for staging and prepping. And then once we get everything conditioned and, and, and happy, then I'll go in with the uh, UV protectant uh, metal tie wrap uh, clips that I've showed you before. This is just temporary, so we'll go ahead and start prepping it. And we'll be 